Hey guys, hey girls, and you know, everybody else who likes painting. This is my channel, you're very welcome to it. I'm gonna show you a uh, old technique called the seven layer technique, a perfect perfection by the old masters, you know, of the Flemish Baroque period of painting. This sounds extremely boring, I know, but here I'm gonna just give you a very short um, explanation of what this is. So you know painting, you know Bob Ross, you know what is to mix colors and you know put them on the freaking canvas and uh, it looks good, you know. Some people, some very talented people achieve very good results at this. But I'm gonna tell you one thing, um, if you like realism, many of you guys might not like it, might, more, might be more into the abstract uh, conceptual kind of thing. I'm okay with it. It's not my favorite kind of um, uh, painting, the abstract one. I personally like a lot more something that that is beautiful and also uh, makes you feel like, oh my god, this is so awesome because it's perfect and looks like the guy who did this had such a hard freaking time doing it because it was not easy. What he did was something very obs obsessive uh, and probably painful to the back <laughs> and I don't know but uh, this is this looks like it took a lot of work to be done this way and that's what I applaud and what I like so um, if you like realistic art uh, I'm talking about painting uh, you're gonna know uh, that you can achieve w with a wide range of pigments we have nowadays and we we've had for um, a century now uh, we could you can achieve pretty much every tone you you like um, you can mix them pre-mix them and you know go like um, on a method of you know proof and error painting and, and repainting and adding some more adding some more which ends up to a probably awesome looking painting very heavy with a lot of paint put on the canvas and and it's all wet um, but there is a failure in this method um, even if you achieved the wide range of colors of a, of a freaking you know of real life which I doubt I'm gonna tell you why um, even if you do this uh, you're gonna find out that your painting is not gonna last for too long it's gonna last maybe 50 years uh, pretty much in good shape but then it's gonna start you know uh, decaying the colors are gonna start fading away turning grayish um, especially the, the the very very uh, vibrant tones like yellows and reds and oranges and greens uh, pretty much you're, you're gonna end up with a with a shaded bluish grayish kind of painting why is this because when modern painting with all these marvelous pigments uh, were invented, uh, we replaced an old technique that had all the stuff already perfectioned, uh, including the the proof of time. You know, because we replaced something called the seven-layer um, technique, which was developed since the Renaissance to the and reached a peak in the Baroque period of painting, about the 600s or 1600s or 1700s. And um, you're gonna see those paintings are in much better shape than modern uh, paintings from the first half of the 20th century. Why is this? Because they had uh, this thing, I'm gonna explain you a little bit later. Um, they knew on a on a method of, of proof and error they knew how to make the paintings long lasting to last against time they actually developed something that now you might call it um uh uv coating you know like like in the printings like uh like you know billboard printings they add this layer of uv protection so the colors won't fade away well they these guys developed that thing like 500 years ago and we stopped using it because it's quicker to do it 
like like we paint right now in modern days you know just grabbing canvas a whole bunch of wide range of colors it's uh, also very expensive to have all the colors you know you don't mix too much you mix two or three and, and you have the tone you want you apply it and you have your painting all wet at once in one set or two maybe so that's 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 pretty cool that's very fast if you want to produce like as many pictures I, as many paintings as you want to sell them well you're on the on the right track but if you want to achieve really really awesome results you're gonna follow this technique so I'm gonna leave you with my Zoe de Chanel portrait and I'm gonna sort of explain in a very quick way the layers and then I'm gonna start with um, with the next painting from the beginning so get your canvas ready and everything so what we're looking at here is basically the second layer of my Zoe de Chanel portrait you can see I'm not gonna go through too much explanation about uh, what the what these layers are about or how are they done because we're gonna have the rest of videos to do that uh, I'm just gonna tell you this is uh, right after you apply the first layer which is a even layer with a with a very clear tone the one you can see in her face actually uh, it applies evenly uh, in all the canvas so there is no big deal I didn't took pictures of it but uh, you're gonna see that in the next next couple of videos now this uh, is supposed to be the sec the second and the third layers because you you are to you're gonna have to apply this in two steps uh, and this is like I said the ultraviolet proof uh, layer this is this is gonna make your colors are not gonna decay or turn gray throughout centuries because this is gonna be lying beneath everything plus uh, the darkness and the, the pigment used to, to make this tone the, the burnt umbra works great for uh, getting the next layers dried up much faster than if you didn't apply it because basically because it's dark and darker colors gets warmer with uh, sunlight and if it gets hotter it gets dry a lot faster than, than a clear tone and just as this is lying beneath every layer it's gonna you know like cook every layer on top of it now this is the next layer it's called the dead layer and it's uh, it's supposed to be applied in two in two steps also uh, uh, all I'm gonna say about this layer is that you are supposed to apply it as if to make believe that the subject in your painting is uh, lit by moonlight that's a art pop explanation uh, what I what I can tell you is that you you need to make your your subjects look pale uh, there's gonna be a lot more explanation on the on the video um, corresponding to this layer but this is basically it and you can see how it looks awesome even though it's it's nowhere near the half of it being done you know um, so the next layer it's um, it's also applied in, in uh, several steps it's um, it's a flesh tones and you can see now I did al already the the background a little bit a little bit of um, of the legs nothing of the, of the blouse because of the tones it's uh, managing there but I'm gonna explain that in in a, in a, in a some of the in one of the next videos and um, you know it's mainly just the flesh tones of the of the face it's not done but I already did the eyes the face lips and everything uh, that is her skin and you know uh, there was a lot of work between um, uh, last layer and this one but it's basically the same it's just applying the main color tones so it now that you see them all it, it I don't think it looks so complicated it's just a method it's just a method that uh, helps you to achieve a perfect um, a perfect ac accuracy with the tone you want to achieve in every part of of the skin of the subject and and their clothing and everything it's the closest you can get to a picture to an actual photograph you know 
and well here's um so in the last few layers you you um, add the details like um, highlights in the eyes lips uh, everything that might be moist or wet and or glistening or shining because it's metallic or the hair and also the signature it's it's basically it then you can see here uh, I got it framed and I guess it was a perfect choice this frame is very simple but it goes so much in harmony with the with the tones in the painting it looks awesome and it it's even better when you see it live <laughs> that's that's the painting on my wall <laughs> and my katana that's it well this is a very rough explanation of the seven layers you can see then the results achieved are awesome and the next uh, portrait is gonna be even more awesome so that was my Zoe de Chanel portrait is a portrait I like a lot because well first of all it, it was my first uh, my first achieved uh, seven layer technique painting and on the next video you will see how I prepare to my next uh, portrait which will be uh, Emily Browning if you don't recall this name she's a she's uh, the blondie girl from Sucker Punch, super hot. So I hope you guys are gonna join me, subscribe, and follow these videos uh, because my next video is gonna be like super interesting. <laughs> so uh, peace, guys. See you around.